What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here. In the, well, we're in the backyard. July month of grilling continues, and we're multitasking on the grill today. First off, this recipe, it is a grilled goat's leg, and this was inspired by an article I read, written by my good friend, Franca Phillip. If you guys have the opportunity to read the article, it can be found in uh, this month's Caribbean Beat magazine, the in-flight magazine for Caribbean Airlines. So that is what's going on there. Over here, I've got some pork ribs, and um, I figured I'd make, take advantage of the just the flame. And this one I'm doing with that Gover barbecue sauce. This video will go up in a couple days, but for now, let's focus on this goat's leg. And if you saw my garden tour video, you'd know I'm loaded with herbs back here. So we're gonna grab some of this thyme, some rosemary, some of that curly leaf parsley that I've got in here. And if you guys can see that, I've got a freezing in my hands. I'm just gonna point it out. There we go. And over here, we've got that oregano. So I'm gonna grab some of that as well. That's all gonna go into seasoning up the goat. Now, one of the things I really like about gardening is having access to the fresh herbs as I just pointed out there. The first thing we're gonna we're gonna do <clears throat> is to make this sort of marinade and sort of liquid or or marinade, as I said, that we're gonna brush onto the goat as it grills off. And I'm gonna go in with about half cup of olive oil. I've got some rosemary here, chopped up from the backyard. And what I did was, I'm not a huge fan of rosemary, but I did leave back some. We're gonna use this as the brush to brush it on later as it grills. Thyme, the oregano, oregano, however you say that. I've got here that parsley. And we're gonna need some salt. And I'm using sea salt. You can use whatever salt you like. It may look like a lot of salt at this point, but remember it's a huge piece of goat. The goat is about three and a half pounds or so. I've got here some pepper flakes. Depends on how spicy you want it. Obviously you can add more or reduce the amount. I've got here some allspice. I love the earthiness of that, especially with that, with that goat that's gonna go wicked. Here we've got scallions, and that's just two scallions that I gave a rough chop to. We'll also need some orange juice. I've got a bunch of garlic. I know like lamb, rosemary and organo and garlic goes great with goat. I've got here one lime, and I'm just gonna go in with the juice of that lime. That's pretty much, you can use this sort of marinade on, on lamb as well. If you're doing your lamb, I'll add the other piece of lime in there as well. And finally, to bring everything together, it's all about balance. I've got here, I showed you guys this one here before. Irie Hives, my brethren down in Trinidad and Tobago. He does this honey thing. It's one of those honeys that I look forward to using as much as I can. Check him out on Facebook, Irie Hives. It's not a paid endorsement. It's just a friend doing a friend a favor, you know what I mean? And it's a good product. It's gonna give that a good whisk. Bring it all together. And if you wanted to add a bit, if I had pimento peppers, I'd chop up some pimento peppers and put in here as well. And if you wanted to go in with a tiny bit of cinnamon, I think the cinnamon would work great in here, but I couldn't find my cinnamon, so I'm just gonna rock what we have here. And here is that marvelous goat's leg. I wash it with some cool water and juice of half of a lime. A piece of the herbs that I chipped up there earlier is all in there. And I have a sort of silver skin. I, I trimmed off most of it, but I still have a bit of it on there. But what I'm gonna do is keep it because I want that to sort of render as it cooks on the grill and it's gonna help keep it nice and moist. It's a very lean meat, so we want that in there. What, however, what I will do is, and I've already done it on the other side, is to poke some holes with a paring knife all over it. 
and that's gonna help the marinade to get in there and do all kind of niceness and speaking about marinade we've got the marinade here you know typically I would use a ziploc bag to do this one of those freezer type bags and you want to pour that all over the goat's leg and the reason why I would prefer to do that is because then you can put it into the refrigerator and allow it to marinate shake it up overnight shake it up ever so often but for presentation purposes I thought I'd show you guys in this bowl here so basically all you would do here at this point if you if you had it in that plastic ziploc bag you would put it into the fridge and allow it to marinate overnight at least four hours for full you really want to infuse flavors in there we've got so many nice flavors in there yo why waste time you know what I mean put put it to use you will notice I did a couple things one I tied it with some some string there some some kitchen string just to hold it all together there so there's one two three four strings tied in there I also made the sort of brush with the leftover rosemary so I'm going to use that to dip into the marinade and baste it as we grill it off if I, in case I forget this is going to go on onto the grill for about two to three hours the last half hour or so I'm going to stop basting it because that marinade is going to have all that rawness in there and you don't want to keep basting it with that raw marinade at that point toss it out whatever you have left back and let it go without basting at least the last half an hour just to ensure we're not messing with um, cross-contamination and stuff like that I'll just quickly explain the sort of layout that I have here on my coals fire I don't know if you guys can see it from above but it's sort of a sort of a semicircle and I started the fire on this end because I wanted to sort of burn its way around all the way over here and the reason for that is because I know I will need the fire to keep going for quite a while anywhere from two to three hours now I will still have to add some more coals to this but the point is the entire thing is not burning at the same time so well hopefully it burns this way all the way around to there to have that constant heat going as we grill in both cases here with the goat I have it away from the flame as well as the ribs now um, this would be called and you know if you're into grilling and all that you would know that it's called indirect heat because we don't want the direct heat on on under the stuff so it doesn't burn we want it to slowly cook and break everything down and, and bring all those flavors together and all you want to do is keep basting that because you want to keep it nice and moist um, the goat meat is a very lean piece of meat so the sort of oil marinade that we have here is going to keep it nice and hydrated it's been a couple hours now I'm outdoors so I do apologize for the noise there is construction going on all over the place here summertime it's been on there for a couple of hours now it's looking good I've been basting it every 20 minutes 30 minutes or so with the leftover marinade there we go you can really see the lovely colors developed what I'm gonna do now is stop basting it and the remaining marinade on the chair there I'm gonna to toss that out now I don't want to put that raw marinade on here I'm gonna let it go for about half an hour more with no more uh, 20 minutes to half an hour with no more marinade and then it's all done Chris here CaribbeanPod.com thanks for joining me in another recipe here July month of grilling continues if you want to see it all sliced up you've got to jump on Instagram that's where I'll post the sort of clip of it being sliced through take it off the grill now and um, allow it to rest for about 15 20 minutes and then you can go buck on it always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me remember to stay tuned for that guava barbecue ribs coming up my little baby is here we've got cookbooks guys westindianfoodcompany.com get your copy today